I'm like you, probably. I'm angry this evening. Angry that I am hearing the same tired, ineffective, hypocritical responses to another mass shooting. It is time we as a nation start to realize we need to stop talking about more gun laws and start instituting ways to actually stop a demonic gunman when he comes calling. 19 kids and two adults are dead after this heinous murder spree inside an elementary school in the tiny border town of Uvalde, Texas. I hear those on the left cry, enough is enough. I agree. When are we going to treat our kids like we treat the same anti-gun politicians exploiting the tragedy? When are we going to protect these kids with armed good guys? We all agree on this, yet Joe Biden couldn't help himself last night when he decided to divide us rather than unite us in a moment of terrible suffering. It's time to act. It's time for those who obstruct or delay or block the common sense gun laws. We need to let you know that we will not forget. We can do so much more. We have to do more. Look, children were murdered. And Joe Biden starts yelling and threatening Republicans. This is just hours after the last parent had been notified that the gunman murdered their child. The bodies hadn't even been removed from the school yet when the anti-gun leftist from Connecticut, Senator Chris Murphy, offered this up on the Senate floor. But I'm here on this floor to beg, to literally get down on my hands and knees and beg my colleagues. Find a path forward here. Work with us to find a way to pass laws that make this less likely. Look, I'm begging too here. I beg America to wake up. New laws are not going to do it. Protecting our kids will. Look, this 18-year-old direct descendant of the devil bought his guns legally. And barring 18-year-olds, adults from buying guns had just been ruled unconstitutional by the ultra-liberal Ninth Circuit Court, by the way. So no new law would prevent this. But an armed teacher could have. An armed security guard could have. In the end, an armed Border Patrol agent did. He rushed to the scene with no backup and took out the shooter. I want you to take a look at this. This is his hat. One more inch, the school shooter would have killed him. The agent is blessed to be alive, grazed by that bullet through his hat right there. When will America now realize our kids deserve the same protection our politicians get? We have armed guards to protect banks, jewelry stores, movie sets, armed guards to protect entertainers. Every city council meeting has an armed officer in it, even the city councils that work to defund the police and take away your gun rights. They are protected by guns, too, because guns work. The ridiculous and now proven ineffective response to a massacre like this and the one in Uvalde is always about more gun laws and disarming more Americans. It is never about finding ways we can control the outcome. And there are ways to do it. Secure schools with one entry point, a blanket of armed security close by. Instead, we get this from the head coach of the Golden State Warriors. And before you watch this clip, may I remind you, there are armed police officers courtside and in the locker rooms of every NBA game played, yet Steve Kerr wants us all disarmed. When are we gonna do something? I'm tired, I'm, I'm so tired of getting up here and offering condolences to, to the devastated families that are out there. We are being held hostage by 50 senators in Washington who refuse to even put it to a vote, despite what we, the American people, want. They won't vote on it because they want to hold on to their own power. It's pathetic. I've had enough. Honestly, I understand why he's upset, but he's wildly confused. More gun laws won't work. Gun laws have not worked. Look at New York. Look at California. They have the most gun laws on the books. None of them are working. Criminals don't obey laws. That's why it doesn't work. It's why more laws don't work. Only a response with equal or greater force 
to the gunman will ultimately protect us and your kids. So let's take school security seriously for a change. Let's start talking about it. Thankfully, there are conservatives who do, and they fight for it. There needs to be more personnel, more strategies, uh, a greater understanding by the mental health care provider community. We've got to, in our smaller schools, where, where we can get down to one entrance, um, one entrance might be one of those solutions. If he had taken three more minutes to find an open door. We need to realize that, that people who think that, well, maybe if we could just implement tougher gun laws, it's going to solve it. Chicago and L.A. and New York disproved that thesis. Do you see the measured tone of these men? They're not angry. They're not screaming and yelling. They're not causing a scene. They're talking about realistic ways we can protect our kids. So look, as America, sure, we can send billions and billions of dollars overseas. We can spend $23 billion to cut so-called carbon pollution, a.k.a. climate change junk. But we can't invest in security to keep our kids safe. The left wants to talk about mental health. Sure, that's part of the problem. A problem the left exacerbated with their lockdowns and year-long school closures. They alienated kids in the name of COVID. Their oppressive response turned out to be an incubator that spawned killers. We literally are breeding monsters in America, all while the left wages war on the family unit. They want kids to now decide their own gender. When I don't even allow my son to decide to skip basketball practice, America has it backwards. Don't destroy the Second Amendment to make constituents feel good while our kids are being slaughtered. Use the Second Amendment to make sure our kids are protected so the only one slaughtered is a bad guy at the hands of a good one.